Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So here we have Yamaha Blaster engine tore apart. And then on this table, I have another Yamaha Blaster engine. These are all the bags from the parts. And we have this cases right here. And I got a granite piece right here. So what we need to do is I had to repair some of these cases and they had to get welded right here. So we're going to have to lap this whole surface and right here, we need to still do some grinding here on this side, but we're going to go ahead and clean up this granite. So the way we can put some sandpaper on there and lap the cases. So I got to do four half cases so two right there and then two right here and um, yeah let's go ahead and start doing that and while we have the sandpaper on the granite we'll go ahead and lap the cylinder heads and uh, get it all true so what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray some break some parts cleaner on here because this is actually all oily right now just from uh, rebuilding previous engines and stuff so I'm going to do that and then just grab a, a rag for now and just pretty dirty but we'll do that a few more times and uh, we should be good to go we'll try to use some crazy glue and stick the sandpaper so that way it doesn't move around. I think it should work, but if not, we'll try to see what we can use. All right, so the surface is prepped. Just let it sit, dry out just a little bit. So I'm gonna use probably two pieces for now. We'll do it side by side, basically. We're gonna try to glue this edge so that way it doesn't end up peeling over. So we're gonna set the case on there just like that. And we're gonna move it this motion and uh, hopefully it works out. All right, gluing the sheet to here with the uh, crazy glue didn't work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some duct tape and uh, yeah, we're gonna just tape this seam and we're gonna have to add more pieces of tape everywhere just the way, so that way it doesn't create no divots or dimples. So it'll be a uh, sanding smooth. So we're gonna go ahead and do this and uh, see how it goes. Yeah, hopefully it goes good. It should work good. There you go, just like that. <laughs> Spray some WD-40 and grab one of, one of our cases. And we're just gonna work the back and forth motion. This is working out pretty good, guys. It's cleaning up really nicely. So we'll do this to the four cases and then we'll do the cylinder heads and see how that goes so I changed up the setting on my polishing pad so I found this long sanding pad and I bolted it down to the table basically pulling each side which makes it nice and tight down so I went ahead and got all these surfaces nice and uh, sanded and uh, surfaced and lapped to each other so they're parallel. So now I'm gonna grab the cylinder head and I'm gonna do two of the cylinder heads on this Yamaha Blaster. Just like this and I'll go in circular motions. 
And uh, yeah, we should be ready to start assembling this thing. So guys, here we have the clutch basket. And you guys can tell they have really big grooves in here from the friction plates, like right here. So what I'm gonna do to remove that, because what happens is when you're trying to press the clutch, the clutch plates get caught on those grooves and it has a tendency of not moving easily. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove them with the file give them a few strokes so basically you just got to remove them the other side is not too bad but we'll still clean it up just so that way this clutch basket will work perfectly so that's what i'll be doing and we'll get this thing looking real good alrighty guys so i got this thing all filed down so there's no more grooves as you can tell it looks as new no grooves on either sides now I'm getting ready I'm setting it out in a sequence that everything's going back together so I'm pre-cleaning everything and we'll start assembling once this is all ready to go and uh, yeah this engine should be put together soon alrighty guys alrighty guys so I put in the push rod in there and the ball and this is the other rod that goes in there, but I put it in last, just the way I do it. Um, usually by the manual, you have to put it in now. So then I set this all out in a sequence and I'm getting ready to start putting everything back in. And so it starts off with the chronicle washer, the spacer, the clutch housing, then another spacer, and then the clutch boss, and then the lock washer, and then the nut which will apply a little bit of uh, red loctite just a tad um, just in case next time somebody has to go take it apart doesn't have to go crazy out alrighty guys so let's put everything back together and we should be getting ready to get more progress done alrighty all right guys, so now we're getting ready to install the clutch plates and friction plates. So easiest way that I know to install and most balanced way is to mark each one to the amount of these little bosses you have on these uh, friction plates. And so we know we have six of them, but there's 23 of these holes where they can slide into so you know that it doesn't divide or equal out to anything so what we do is we count every four and then the last we split the half which is in the middle 
So we, that's the way we do it. So now we're going to install the friction plates and the plates. Then we'll install this, 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 and this. All right, guys, stay tuned. guys so here we have one of the blaster engines all put together so we blocked it off with a towel on both of the intake and the exhaust so we have some mad compression we still have to replace the spark plug which we have one right here but that'll be later when we install it and so got the full top end, bottom end, Y-scale piston, Y-scale crankshaft, all put together, all the bearings, seals, everything's been assembled. So it's got a lot of compression. So we're ready to go. Now we got another one that we'll put together, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Alrighty guys, stay tuned, peace.